Hello everyone, this is Aaron from Emotion Technologies. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you Emotion's latest innovation, the Emotion V3. Emotion V3 is a well fine designed, highly compact self balancing vehicle. Its unique dual wheel design makes it very easy to learn. You can stream your music to the V3. Apart from all that, you also have the well designed battery pack, the protective cushion pads, the footboard to support your weight, and everything you need in a fine vehicle. It sounds all complicated, but due to its superb engineering, it's very easy to disassemble and assemble the V3. Before we start all this, we need to prepare a slot screwdriver, a crosshead screwdriver, a 2.5 millimeter, 4 millimeter, and a 5 millimeter wrench as well as a ring spanner and a small knife. Of course, you need a storage box to store all those small parts you're gonna get off from the V3. Okay, first let's start from the outside. Okay, let's first start with the handlebar. You can pull down the vehicle and then pull out the handlebar. Basically, you can see there are two screws connecting the lever stick and the handlebar. So with a cross head screw, you can remove the four screws. Now we can remove the handlebar. Remember to keep this two stick rod inside because we're gonna use it now. Push the two stick rod down to the end so the entire lever stick is going to the end together. Here we say, actually there are four screws connecting the housing. Now we're gonna unscrew them. Now it comes to the footboard. We have to use a four millimeter wrench to unscrew the bottom screw. You can see it from here. After that, we also have to reveal the two other screws and the rubber protection by piling up the tip of the rubber. So you can see the two screws are actually located here. Now we have to use the five millimeter wrench to unscrew them. Now we can use the wrench to push out the hinge rod from here. After taking off this rod, you can take off the footboard. After taking off the footboard, now it comes to the stop damage on its two sides. We have to use a crosshead screwdriver to remove all the four screws. Now we have to remove all the protective pads by using a slot screwdriver to pile up a corner of the pad and then slowly remove the entire pad. Now you can see there are four screws totally in revealed in front of you. We have to remove them by using a four millimeter wrench.
Now it comes to the most important part, the housing. We have to use a 2.5 millimeter wrench to unscrew all five screws on each side of the case. There's one near the wire notch, and also there is one hidden beneath the SCV logo. You have to use a small knife to pry up the logo to reveal it. As well as the other three screws located on the side of the housing, you will be using this wrench to unscrew all of them. Until now, we can freely remove the case. But be careful, there will be a cord connected to the board inside. See, it's there. Now we have to manually disconnect them. You see the entire interior structure are revealed in front of you. Now you can see the entire interior design of V3. The tire assembly takes the biggest space. And also there is a battery pack, the Bluetooth speakers, and the lighter assembly. Next, we're going to take the battery out. But before we do that, we have to cut off the electricity by manually pull out the cord from the board. There are still three other wires near you. You have to remember the color sequences because later they have to be restored exactly as they are now. Now from left to right, it's yellow, green, and blue. Pull out of them, and now you can remove the two screws on each side of the battery pack with a crosshair screwdriver. Now you can take the battery pack out of the case. Now we come to the motor part and the lever stick. Here is a wire cord connected to the case. You have to release them. And pull them out of the case. Because of the motor is firmly tightened up inside of the case, so you also have to pull again in inward the cord. And by pushing the lever stick to take out of the entire assembly. Here, so you can take an entire motor assembly. If any of you want to have the tire repaired, you first have to deflate the tires and then take the outer tire and the inner tire off the hub. Now we have come to the last few piece. There are the loudspeaker and the lighter assembly. There are two screws set on each side of the loudspeakers and also one screw on the lighter assembly just to unscrew all of them, then you can take all these pieces off. If you still want to take the touch panel board and the sensor board out of the case, you have to manually detach the cord in between of them and unscrew the screws. Now you have seen the entire beauty of the product. Join emotion and enjoy the products.